Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got my finale video to my 2018 project pan going up a little bit later than I expected, although it is still the first week of January, so I'm not going to be too hard on myself. And also, my daughter's not yet back to school from her Christmas break, and so obviously as a mum, and I've got a, an 18-month-old as well, when, when one of them's not at school, it's even more busy than usual. So yes, um, I'm really excited to show you the progress. I'm really, really happy with the project. Um, but I'm just going to start off by saying, if I seem a little bit not myself, I'm just feeling a lot of anxiety today. I'm not like an anxious, overly anxious person usually. But when it comes to my channel, filming, uh, YouTube, I've just lost a lot of confidence in myself. I keep putting off the video every time I go to film. I don't know what it is. I really, really don't know what it is. I, I mean, I know I had some problems. I've had some technical issues. I've had them for a little while. Um, and it's not that I can't um, necessarily afford to upgrade um, the tech side of things. I'm, ju I'm just scared to because uh, whenever I've looked at software for editing, whether it's one you buy or one you don't buy. I just can't get my head around it. So I just keep coming back to the software that I use to edit my views, which is no longer available. So if I buy a new laptop, I literally apparently cannot get around it and cannot have that software anymore. So I'm just really just trying to get as much as I can of my old setup before it completely dies um, and I'm forced to learn a new way of editing. Um, and I'm scared that I won't be able to when it comes to that. So we'll just we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get, get to it. So, um, yeah, today it, it started as that and then my mic broke and I had to buy a new one and I couldn't quite get the sound right. And then I had this awful phishing email that's not related to my YouTube channel. It was related to another one of my accounts. Um, but it was really quite horrible. It was it was horrible. I'm used to dealing with phishing emails and advising people on phishing emails. You know, I was a personal banker for 10 years up to very recently. Um, this just really shook me um, and was really causing me a, a lot of stress and anxiety and just knocked my confidence. So if I don't see my normal self, that's why. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into the video. <laughs> straight in after a really huge long intro. So uh, yeah, I will just quickly say, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. And I never tell people to click the notifications bell, but if you want to get updated and told when I'm putting up my 2019 project plan and the updates, that's really the best way to do it. I've got two boxes here. I've got the stuff that I've finished up and the stuff that I haven't really finished up. I wouldn't really consider it a fail as such, um, but the stuff that I, I there's some stuff that is a fail, I'll be on, and I'll be honest as we go along with some stuff, it's just kind of like I've either used it as much as I possibly could or I never, you know, I fully knew that it wouldn't happen. So let's start with the stuff that, that's a success. So I've got through and completely finished my Sole 50 Plus um, Anti-Aging Face Fluid from Superdrug. So that's completely gone. I've used up my Moroccan Oil Hydrating Styling Cream. I took the pump out and started whacking it on the back of my hand to get the last bits out. This is a tiny cheat and I'm always, always honest on my channel. It's the SOS Hydra by Clarins. I had the teeniest, tiniest amount left of this. Not enough to do a full face, just enough literally to put on my giant forehead. And I did so last night. So that actually technically wasn't really finished up by the end of the year, but it was finished up by the finale video. Also the End Spa uh, Fragrance Body Mist. And that's the one in Raspberry. So um, I just thought I heard the cat trying to get in, but no, that is completely finished up. So I'm really pleased with that. And I also got through my Touche Eclat by YSL. You can't see that. But yeah, that's completely used up. That was sent to me by my friend Sita. So thank you again, Sita. And this is the Mac Pro Longwear Concealer. I think it's, N I want to say, NW15. It is the cat. <laughs> NW15. So yeah, as you can see, there's a tiny bit left. But unfortunately... Um, you can't get it out and you can't break that open because it's, you know, it's glass. You want to be careful. Next is my um, Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Power from Collection in the shade Medium. And that is completely used up. Then we've got Superdrug's Naturally Radiant Refreshing Complete Cleanser. And um, that also came out like a mousse and that's finished. And this was, um, the packaging's an elf blush, but it wasn't an elf blush. It was a Franken shade from some bronzers from my makeup revolution or revolution makeup or revolution whatever they want to call themselves on tan beauty yeah it was the last in a 
palette. So I got finished all but one single shade in that palette. In fact, I can show you the shades. It was a six pan palette and uh, that was the shade there. So that gold shade, which is really shimmery and I can only use that as an eyeshadow. Other than that, I've completely, completely finished that entire palette. And let's move on to the items that I didn't complete. So um, there's no, <laughs> there's no, the, you may feel there's no visible progress here. It's the blush palette in the shade Blush Goddess by Revolution. And I, I can see it in real life. I can see the dips here. I can see rings going on here. I can see this one's almost hitting pan. It was these three that was in the project. I don't think this one was ever in the project, but I've used all four of them. Um, yeah, I mean, this has just got a massive sort of slope down this side. I don't know if you can even see that. So it was around here. It's going to hit pan. Um, yeah, so I'm so, so happy to be moving on to some more blush. Matte blush is not really my preferred blush. I know it is for a lot of people, but it isn't for me. And um, yeah, they're really nice. But um, usually with Sleek and Makeup Revolution, I find that they're really pigmented, the blushes, so yeah, hard to work with. These are not, and I don't know if it's the age of it now, but I don't, wouldn't consider it that old, but yeah, I have to pile on quite a lot, and then you have like a powdery look. So yeah, I'm just pleased. I'm just pleased to be moving on to something else. Uh, this was a fail, so this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish in like porcelain. Um, it's a fail because I completely forgot that it was even in the project. I completely forgot about it. I've, if, when you watch my next Sanchez video, spoiler, you're going to see I've used either one or two complete foundations so it's not like I haven't been using foundation I could have totally like totes finished that but unfortunately I forgot it was in the project and I forgot this was in the project too which is the Essence uh, lip liner in new is the nude shade in the nude shade 11 uh, yeah so again I really feel like I could have finished this is the last lip product in you know in the project I could have finished that if I had remembered it was there which I didn't um this is the uh Gelux Eyebrow by Kaylin and hasn't been used at all. I've been using the shade Saddle from my MAC Warm Neutrals palette and because that's in my pan, it was in that, that was in my pan, that palette for last year. And I'm going to do my finale video on that shortly. So that just wasn't touched. And so, yeah, it, I, didn't, I don't want to throw it away, but equally it just stopped being part of the project a really long time ago. And then um, these are the last three. So this is Bitten. Um, Creme Brulee and Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow. That's one we've talked about, so just ignore them. Um, so it's these three here. As you can see, the significant pan in them, and they um, are now going to be thrown away because I actually cannot get pigmentation out of them, which I'm really shocked about because they're actually not that old in the grand scheme of things. When I compare my collection, um, I've got much older, much cheaper um eyeshadows with fantastic fantastic pigments so I don't understand it it has put me off I enjoyed them when they were brand new um but uh and and in their defense you know they, they probably were fine for the the advertised shelf life but as a huge makeup collector I don't I don't pay attention to the uh, the advertised shelf life for powder products I, I I if a powder product for me doesn't last four years it's rubbish and I won't repurchase it because I have got eyeshadows both affordable and not that do last four years so I won't be buying makeup week again because they don't last on me and I feel like I'm going to avoid sorry if this offends anyone but I'm going to avoid sort of vegan formulas that are advertised as vegan because I'm not vegan so I don't need to buy vegan and I feel like those eyeshadows don't last as long as non-advertised as vegan eyeshadows so yeah, that completes the project. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I cannot wait to film the intro for my 2019 project pan. Let me know in the comments what you've been using up, how your Christmas and New Year's went. Just chat to me. And if you've got any tips and tricks on the whole confidence, taking a knock thing, please let me know because it is a real, it's a real struggle. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.